So in this video I focus on strengthening the internal rules of the vintage caravan. I've actually just moved up the road to a new location and I thought I'd share the journey. So Hayden's job for the next month and a half is two farms over. So we're just going to jump there. Right now his container's being moved and then I'm moving later on today. And now it's the vintage caravan's turn to move two farms over. I'm hoping it'll be okay. I'll go pretty slow. It's not that far away. It's just down the road. So hopefully everything survives the trip. Vinny right from my UK caravan seat. Have I even explained where the name came from? <laughs> Hayden started calling the vintage caravan Vinny and it's it's just stuck so yeah I think I think its name is Vinny. Well my first task will be replacing these three wooden structures because they're not they're not really doing a good job looks like on the move this fell away as well that's that's not structural at all is it <laughs> it's actually broken there too so but if, if I've got a stronger line here then in theory it should be fine I guess. <laughs> well before you take that out we'll get that one in. Oh for structural. Mm -hmm. Okay. The annoying thing is all the wood in here is 20 mil wide, but all the wood you can buy in the hardware stores is 24 millimeters wide. So Hayden's been kind of giving me some tips on how the table saw actually works. And Hayden's gonna do the first one because I'm not really sure what I'm doing. going to keep the width the same as this just for extra strength so that means I just need to widen these grooves a little bit just so that it can fit in. somehow managed to lose all the footage of me starting this one side so I add the three structures and the little triangles in the corner and a huge thank you to Ian and Drew for helping out with the interior wood for this caravan it really does mean a lot
I'm aware I'm dithering again. I kind of, I don't know, I feel, I feel like I keep changing. I, I am dithering, I am just feel a bit stuck. And one of Hayden's building tips was I can put in planks of wood where I want the walls to go for, so I'm drilling into wood and it'll give it a bit more strength. And I've just cut these to size. I've just started doing something. So this is gonna be the bathroom wall that's gonna come out. Just needed a bit more, somewhere to attach it to the walls with a bit of strength. And I've done the same on this side. I've used slightly thicker because I don't, I just don't know how strong this door frame is. So I might as well use the thicker stuff there. But I'm also aware that I shouldn't add too much wood to the caravan because it adds to the weight. I am actually, I've decided I'm going to replace this thinner bit with this just because I know this flaps around and moves billows while I'm driving which makes me nervous. <laughs> so if I at least do one strong new piece of wood I think I'll feel more and more secure. I think my hardest part is going to be this back section because I just don't know. I don't know which parts have to be replaced. So I've just cut the little grooves into this wood. Okay. <laughs> it really, it really does shake everything up, doesn't it? Well, I was planning to take that out anyway. I can already tell some of you are probably thinking, what are you doing Karen? You're using it wrong. <laughs> He's like, There are a couple of rivets hidden behind this. So it would probably be good to do the rivets before I install the wood. And there's some nails poking through from the outside that I need to clip. So it's rained a huge amount in the overnight and this morning. It's actually been really helpful to figure out where the leaks are. So I'm not surprised, there's two points at the back which I'd already guessed were problem issues. I bet it's getting in wrong here. One seems to be around, there used to be a window here that they took out and there's water getting in here so I might check the other side. This corner along the seam that's coming through here and I wonder what, I wonder what's on the other side. So. Yeah, it's been dripping on the ground, it's, it's been that damp. Now this leak, <laughs> again, where is it coming from? Do I stop working on the interior and focus on sealing everything as soon as possible? Maybe. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven leaks. Three are to do with the ceiling, which I think will be fixed when I rubber paint the roof and then two are at the front which I kind of already knew about but there may be a bit more than I realized yeah and then two are around the windows which I'm not sure about I'm now wondering if I need to take this off and seal although that's where sealed there so this 
Well, this window is taken out and a bit of metal is put on and it overlaps on the outside. You can see the rivets there. It has a weird little zigzag cut out here. So, and then there's not no rivets here. So maybe I should add a rivet, another rivet, and a whole lot of sealant on the outside. I just don't know whether I should take off this wood to try to reach the sealant. So that's it, I think. Uh, this is where I'm going to pause, focus on sealing up the caravan, and then hopefully when I get back to this part, I can persuade Hayden to help me out a little bit more. Just because I feel like this part's important. like. And I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs>